Hi everyone, this is Thomas Kincaid and I'm talking today about the French Impressionist painters. Now these master artists created something the world had never seen before. They brought art out of the dark confines of the museum walls and into the sunlight and fresh air. Throughout all the Impressionist works you will see a consistent theme, the exuberance of color, a joy of celebrating light, and also a use of broken brushwork meaning broad strokes that are left finished at one application. My new collection of Impressionist paintings is a celebration of the spirit of the French Impressionists. These artists captured something on canvas that no one before had captured. They captured the drama of sunlight in a brand new way. To me, Impressionism is a great variation from what I normally paint. As you know, most of my paintings are so detailed and refined that they require layer upon layer to finish them. In impressionistic works, I simply take the brush and start at the top and begin swinging. It's a celebration of painting in its most pure form. I can't imagine anything more fun or colorful. The first painting in my impressionist series is Boulevard Lights, and this painting is a celebration of the street scene painters of Paris. Many of the artists who painted impressionistically loved Paris and viewed it as the hub of the Impressionist movement. These painters sought to capture the moods of Paris, the boulevards that were alive with lights and color and the motion of people. For my painting, I turned the clock back a few generations to an earlier day when people gathered around the boulevard cafes and people watched as the streetcars, trolleys, and beautiful old vintage motor cars go streaming by on the boulevard. My painting Sunday Afternoon is classic Impressionism. For this painting, I envisioned a time when genteel men and women would gather along the riverbanks of the Upper Seine River. Perhaps a carnival is going on on a Sunday, and the sunlight is just radiant with its warmth, with a glow that makes the shadows cool and the light areas warm and alive. I love the activity along the Seine as we envision music in the air and people dancing, people milling, people gathering to greet one another. It is a Sunday afternoon along the river and you can almost hear the steam barges making their way down the Seine, bound for Paris as they head down the river. One of the things I love about the Impressionists is the variety of subjects they painted. Still life was one of the idioms least explored in earlier forms of art. It was as though the simple beauty of fruit on a table was ignored by many generations of artists. The Impressionist painters, however, celebrated simple still lifes of fruit, vases, the humble articles of life for the peasant culture that they lived in. In my painting, Silver and Gold, I took the same approach. I gathered together a grouping of still life articles and began to paint. It became obvious to me that the real subject of this painting was color. I coined the phrase silver and gold because of the silver vase topped by the golden explosion of flowers. It's as though the flowers are rays of sunlight bursting from the top of the vase. I went through a phase in my career where I began to paint still lives as a relief from my landscape settings. The still life form is a shallower form, allowing the exploration of space in a different way than landscape. I view the background setting to be the draping that you see at the back of the painting and the middle ground to be the still life and the foreground to be the table and fruit that we see coming toward the front part of the composition. As I was painting along the coast one day, I was noticing the effects of light dancing off the surf. The waves seemed to create a myriad of colors that I just couldn't mix on the palette. So I began to experiment with broken color, that is the laying down of tones next to each other to create a radiant color mixing that is completely optical the colors aren't mixed on the palette, they are mixed on the painting itself, allowing colors to blend together in the eye. This effect was used by the Impressionists oftentimes because they believed that colors laid side by side led to a more brilliant result. More color would be the result of colors which accented one another. Radiant Surf is a celebration of sunset on the ocean, but it is a celebration especially of the crystalline nature of sunlight on water. Those colors explode and dance as you watch the surf come in and out and surge back and forth. And that is the effect I tried to capture in radiant surf. 
you know, the more I paint my Impressionist paintings, the more I want to paint additional subjects. I kind of feel like Monet, who used to go to his garden at Giverny, and every day brought a new effective light, a new subject for a painting from one tiny garden. Well, just imagine how, as I travel the world, the subjects seem to open up before my very eyes, each one begging to be recorded in an Impressionist painting. As with all of my paintings, I try to pack as much joy and peace and hope into each work that I produce as I can. To me, Impressionism does that in a new way. Something about the exuberance of an Impressionist painting speaks volumes about the joy of living. I hope that you will feel the joy when you look at these paintings. I put a lot of joy into them, and I hope it brings a little joy to you. And you can rest assured as the months unfold, there will be new paintings in my Impressionist collection. Remember, Impressionism, like all art, is a celebration of the beauty of God's creation. I hope you enjoy the celebration. God bless.